Hey there, folks. Hope you're doing well today. Wanted to come with a video. This is something I didn't know, and I wanted to make sure I shared it with all of you and made sure all of you know. You actually, uh, some of you in the comments were the ones who made me aware of this, and, and after making me aware, I, I later have seen this video. Let's dive in. It seems like it's hard to go just about anywhere these days without someone trying to tell you which boxes they think you should be filling out on your ballot here in a few weeks. But when it comes to advertising which candidate you support at the ballot box, election officials here in Oklahoma say you got to leave your opinions at the door. Actually, make that at least 300 feet from the door. So this is local news from Oklahoma, and what they're discussing is some of the rules around the polls. And this has to do with not being able to wear any campaign-related clothing, hats, pins. Uh, none of that is going to be allowed at the polls, and it's good for us to be aware of that. Now, every, every state's going to have unique rules, but all of them are going to have a rule that it's not allowed. You cannot electioneer within 300 feet uh, of the entrance to a polling place or early voting site or the last person who's standing in line at that polling place or early voting site. I also find that very interesting, that it's 300 feet from the last person in line. But it's interesting that you can go, say, 300 feet out and just be, like, setting up banners and stuff. Maybe, maybe I should do some uh, large cutouts. Hmm. The folks at the Oklahoma Election Board say electioneering means advocating for or against a candidate or question on the ballot, either verbally or visually. If you're wearing a t-shirt or a button hat, uh, maybe you've got a water bottle with a candidate printed on it, um, or any type of material that may be considered electionary. And you actually can't have any sort of printed material with you unless it's something issued by election officials. The exception to that is if, for instance, you perhaps made notes about the candidates or issues you wanted to vote for. Maybe you printed off a sample ballot. Also, if you're not there to vote, you've got to stay at least 50 feet away from the door. And you can't stand outside the polling place uh, and chit chat with, with neighbors and other friends. That said, if you're disabled, you can bring someone to help you. And if you have a kid, they can stay with you too. So there you go, folks. I think it's important that we know the rules, not just for ourselves, but we could make sure that other people are observing those rules we want to make sure we don't see any voter intimidation, and if we do, we raise awareness of that immediately. One last thing about taking selfies, let's take a listen. Some people like to take a selfie with their filled out ballot to show who they voted for, and you actually can do that while you're still inside before you leave the polling place. But you gotta wait till you're back outside to post it online. You cannot disclose how you voted uh, to anyone, either electronically or verbally or um, on the phone, uh, until you have actually left that election enclosure. So there you have it, folks. Let's get out there and vote.